you've heard of God of War? Huh? God of War, Chibuka, the, the Buganda culture. Yeah, now. Here is the God of Sun. Hi guys. So we're currently in a Kumi district. I'm actually checking out the Nero rocks. Um, right behind me, these are the massive, massive rocks of Nero. So uh, the special thing about the thing, so they have engravings on the wall. And um, our guide has told us that the Batwa are the ones who made these paintings. So what's surprising is Batwa are no longer in this area, but they are down south. That's in Bwindi. So come to think about it. Yeah, like to move it. You've heard of God of War? Huh? God of War, Chibuka, the, the Buganda culture. Yeah, now. Here is the God of Sun. So those symbols are symbolizing the sun. So I don't know what they call the sun god in the Egypt. Akoro. So we are going to um, site 3, it's the, it's the third one we are going to. Apparently it's as lit as two words, so the sun god Akoro. Yeah. So the funny thing about the sun god is uh, it's them believing in the, the power of the sun. You know, there's light and then there's darkness and then there's the sun and then the clouds and then there's an eclipse. It's like a whole thing, but all related to the sun. And so if you really understand nature and uh, everything that comes with it, then you'll understand why the sun is a god. And that's why they respected it. rock painting this more than 5,000 years old more than 5,000 years old Jesus. yeah it's crazy it's crazy what you discover when you travel god of the sun Akolo. Akolo. yeah so it's so pretty but the interesting thing about this gc is the correlation with the mayan you know the mayan beliefs because there's that whole sun god as well and then even with the Egyptians, and then even you see it here in Uganda, that it's just is something that we need to discover. What were these guys seeing that we're not seeing? So, guys, I'm here with Opio William, who is our guide. And the interesting thing about Opio William, he has been in this place since 1984, yes, before I was born, before my parents met, basically. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. Yeah, so he has like. A wealth of wisdom about um, Nero and its beauty. So for me, what I'm seeing right here is many of these things I read it, but I think in Opio's mind, he remembers them when they were really, really okay. Yes. Yeah. So there's this. I think this was a sitting room or something. I don't know because this case was sitting. It is a sitting room. Sitting room. Yeah. Ah, but now there is a prayer site now. Paul. Many Christians do come like oh. first they meditate and confess. Okay. Now it's like a church. Oh, okay. And so guys, come for interstellar experience. Okay. And guys, the views from this place are insane. Like, look, look at this. It's crazy. The scenery, the the rock formations. The mm, I'm even seeing holes within rocks. A vibe it's a vibe so put it on your travel plans and see your country 
We out. Thank you.